It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Cut Buster. It's a black currant and heather honey sour ale, and it's by Yellow Belly Beer versus Brewdog. I really like the branding on this can. It's 6.2% ABV. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Oh my goodness me, look at the colour. Look at the colour of that. And all of that fantastic sediment that's made its way into the bottom of the glass. Look at that, can you see it? Oh, oh, oh. Love it, okay. Uh, we got a one finger slightly off my head. The colour, look at the colour on that beard. It looks terrific, absolutely terrific. Uh, was this brewed at Yellow Belly? Was this brewed at Brewdog? Uh, we will get into that in a moment. Uh, I, I imagine it's got Yellow Belly Beer written all over it. Yellowbellybeer.ie forward slash subscribe. So I'm going to take a guess on this was brewed at Yellow Belly Beer. That looks tremendous. Look at that. Let's get the aroma on this hazy raspberry coloured ale. Oh my goodness me. Wow, wow. It's really tart. Really lovely and tart like. But not just tart. Do you know if you warm honey in a saucepan, that sticky. There's a ton of honey in this beer. It's a bit like picking up a, a honeycomb, a sticky honeycomb. My daughter for Christmas one year, she had a jar of honey with a piece of honeycomb in the jar. And it was so sticky and lovely and smelly. It smelled lots of hun honey smells coming off it. This smells exactly the same, but with raspberry. It smells terrific. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Stoner Crows, Stoner Crows, what a terrific, terrific, terrific beer. Wow, just absolutely blown my palate to bits, the sourness, the sharpness, just explodes on the palate, just explodes. One of the sourest beers I've had this year. You might have heard me saying that before, but I just, just, just keep getting surprised by just how sour beers can be. So terrific. And again, and you've probably heard me say this a million times too, but I'm going to say it again. That when you have that initial big hit of flavour, it's like poof. It's it's all at once. It's very quickly over and done with. But you're left with this lovely wheaty biscuit malt flavour that just 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 hangs around longer than, than, than the initial boom of flavour. And it's a nice touch. It's a nice balance to the beer that, that only really a sour beer can achieve. That is absolutely spot on. It's terrific. Absolutely terrific. But then the second taste, yes, it's still sharp, it's still sour, but you're getting more of that honey this time around. This, the, the, the level of sourness is not quite on your palate like it was the first time around because your palate's adjusting, your palate's getting used to that crazy amount of flavour. So it's a level down now, that sourness. So you're picking up some of that honey, that, that wonderful honey and that, that raspberry flavour coming through. What a terrific beer. And the drinkability, let's move on to the drinkability. It's a little bit of carbonation, just pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour and just 
from the initial look, the, the Yellow Belly nailed this. The way that can looks. It's bright, it's lovely. It's interesting, they've done a collaboration with Brewdog, uh, one of the most well-known breweries now, craft brewers in the world. Um, so they've done something really interesting. So, so you initially pick it up from the bottle shop shelf, there's hundreds of beers all around you, and you go for it because it's got an interesting label on it. Next thing you do, you take it home, or if, if the bottle shop's got an online, uh, an on-license where you can drink, on site, you sit on the couch or, or, or the, the pallet, whatever they do these days in these craft craft bottle shops or craft bars, you see people sitting on pallets and all sorts these days. Um, yeah, you, basically then you crack it open and you pour it and you, and you see the colour, the colour of the beer and you think, oh my goodness me, I'm in for a treat, I really am in for a treat. And then the taste is absolutely mind blowing. At this stage of the beer review, I'd like to thank our friends at Find My Pint. It's an app on the iOS and Android store. Uh, check it out. Uh, download it uh, from, from, from the Apple iOS store or the Android Play store. Um, go and find your pint. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, go and find this. Let's rate it. Well, first, should we give a little bit of a, a, a read? There's actually, to be honest, is. Wexford Blackcurrants, Scottish Heather, Honey, Hops and Yeast. 6.2% ABV. I think at one or two stages of the review, I think I've called it raspberry. Blackcurrant, yeah? I meant blackcurrant. So rating, here we go. Sourness has calmed down now. It's just... It's just is subtle now. My palate's adjusted. What my palate hasn't adjusted to is the honey. The honey is terrific. Absolutely terrific. I, I, I'd like to see Yellow Belly Beer brew this all the time. All the time. I, I think it would just be a big seller for them. Um, as long as people can get their head around the whole sour beer thing. I mean, not so much craft beer drinkers who know their stuff, but maybe some general public out there who are getting into craft, craft beer. You might have caught a hold of this review, uh, you might have, have, have picked up this beer, and you might be shocked just how sour the beer will be. It's meant to be like that, it's a kettle sour. Rating, I like this beer enough, I'm not going to take anything away from this beer, it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer, please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, and cheers.